Hello everyone. So I just want to make a very quick video showing how to unzip multiple files in a MacBook. Now, sometimes, for example, you'll be in Google Drive or elsewhere and you'll download tons and tons of files. And instead of getting one file, you'll get many, many zip files. And it's extremely obnoxious to have to go through and click on unzip them all one at a time. So if you want to make, unzip them all in one go, it takes literally two seconds and it's very, very easy. Anyone can do this. So for example, here are some example files I downloaded. Let's move them to a easier folder, let's just say on my desktop, that's called My Files. So I'm going to move them here. They're in my desktop. And now you want to just verify what your username is. And if you're not sure what it is, just go to Finder and go to Home. Here you'll see my username is John. So what you want to do is open the terminal. So if you're not sure how to open this, just click on a little search and type terminal. You open it up and all you want to do is first go to this directory. So where these files are. So here I have a little snippet. As you can see, CD just simply stands change directory. So I want to put in users, users, John, I'm trying to type over the camera here. Desk, uh, so desktop, and the folder I made, which is my files. So my files. Once you press this, you should see my files listed down here. Now, all you have to do is type unzip backslash star dot zip. And as you can see here, the operation was very quick. And depending on how many actual files you have, this may take anywhere from a couple minutes to even a few hours. And it may also prompt you if you have duplicates, you can press Y or N to overwrite or not overwrite them. But this is it, literally. So if you have 30 of these zip files, it takes two commands. Just put them on a easy to locate folder, just like the desktop. And essentially this command just tells the terminal to unzip all the zip files in that folder. And you're all set and good to go saves tons of time just because you have to open this terminal that looks like you're coding or programming it does not mean it's hard it's super easy so hope this helps someone